What is up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to find these luscious curls y'all have. I know you see it. You see the curls. You see the bounce. You see the body yada 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 yada. All right. So, what we further ado, let's get into it. If you are coming here from a wash day video, then you will know that I am rinsing out my deep conditioner. Why am I rinsing out in warm water? You ask. My loves, I have low porosity hair, which means my cuticles are closed and it is hard to absorb moisture. Therefore, heat is my best friend. I deep condition with heat and I'm going to now show you how I apply my leave-in conditioner in the shower because the heat is going to keep my cuticles open. That way I can absorb the product much better, thus retaining moisture in my hair for the next steps. As you can see, I've been rinsing out my deep conditioner with warm water, then following up with my leave-in conditioner. Just braid that up because what I notice is a lot of you probably use shower caps when you get out the shower to maintain the moisture. I just leave my hair in braids and by the time I get to the section on the other side, I still have that moisture. Also keeps my hair detangled and it doesn't tangle back up. So now onto the fun part, my highly requested video defining these curls. Let's get it. While I finish my shower, I just keep a plastic bag over my head and I put a t-shirt around that because you know that water be drip, drip, dripping. And so I'm just gonna show y'all the moisture that I still have in my hair after I take this braid out. Watch, one, two, three, bam. Look at that, that thing is sick. All right, so we are going to what? work in sections because y'all know i love sections what i'm doing now is just spraying my hair with more warm water because i'm just making sure my cuticles stay open so it could be its most moisturized and i'm just smoothing that through i'm going to take this extreme gel that's the gel i'll be using today and i'm just going to start at my ends first and then work my way up to my roots and what you really want to focus on is smoothing the hair out so I really take about like a whole minute just smoothing my hair out, making sure it's smooth before I start my curling method, which is going to be finger coiling. That is my first curling method, finger coiling. What I like to do is just take my hair and split it into like a small but decent piece, not too crazy, twirl it around my finger halfway, grab it and then continue to finger coil it all the way down to my ends. So for the back of my head, I mainly finger coil because my curls back there are way harder to curl and it's more prone to frizz. So that's why I do that. But when it comes to other sections of my head, I use different curling methods, which I'm going to show you the two other ones as you continue to watch through the video. So before I show you the next curly methods that I use, I just wanna give a recap of how I finger coil, spray your hair with warm water, then you're gonna smooth that through, apply your gel from, from the ends to the roots, making sure it's smooth as possible, like no frizz, then you begin to finger coil. I remember when I was applying my leave-in conditioner in the shower and I said it still maintains my moisture. That's what I'm showing you guys. And I've been letting these braids sit in for a while because it takes a while to do each side. So now I'm just going to show you my next curling method, which is the shake method. So basically what I do is finger coil it, but sometimes the curl doesn't form. So what I like to do is just like shake it like, girl, wake up, like wake up those curls. And you could also scrunch it as well because my curls just be tripping. I'm like, girl, wake up. And what I like to do to elongate the curl and keep the moisture in as well is to just twist it to the back and clip it up. And I will show you guys at the end of the video why I do this and what it will look like. When it comes to the front of my hair, I do things a little different. I do finger coil, but I don't finger coil from the root. I kind of finger coil from, uh, I would say, 
almost halfway through my strand. And that's what you see that I'm doing here. And then I do that probably midway on this side of my head for the front side because like I said, when it's around like close to my ear or the nape of my neck, my curls are more prone to frizz and it's harder to curl. That's why I have to take really small pieces and finger coil. Now that I've got my hair all twisted up, I just let that sit for 10 minutes and these are the results. Once I take my hair out the clips, I like to just gently separate the curls, not too much because you don't want to cause frizz, but I just do that throughout the whole head. And look at that, the curls are just looking so even and nice and defined. And it's just giving me life, like look at it. Now, drying process, I will let you guys know about that as well. But you have to wait until tomorrow, I'm sorry. So if you guys wanna know how I go from wet to dry, stay tuned and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.